back in there getting ready to do an oil change. Um, I don't have it jacked up. I just slid under here. You know, these trucks are low enough, me high enough, so you can slide under if you ain't too big. And I just barely made it. <laughs> but yeah, I got my motorcraft. That's all I put in here. It's motorcraft. SW, well, W 20 motorcraft for engine oil. I got the nut broken. Where is it at? Oh, it's right there. I got the nut broken loose. Got to take it off. Um, I got the filter loosen up. So, yeah, let me get back to it. Oil pan right here. Cardboard on ground so I don't make too much in the parking lot doing it. Come out. Oh, yeah, shit, be ready. Come out. Uh, yeah, I'm in an awkward position. I put myself in. Do my oil change. Um, it's dripping. It's actually pretty good though. Look at it. I got some on my hand. Pretty, it don't look that bad though. I changed it about almost 3,000 miles. The only reason I'm changing it now is because I couldn't get the filter off last time and it was hot and I didn't feel like dealing with all that mess. So I just drained the oil, put the cap back on once I couldn't get the filter off, and put some more oil in there. So I'm like, this filter got like 12. About 12, 13,000 miles on it. And I wanted to put a new filter in it and change the oil. So I'm under 3,000 down, I'm, I'm under 3,000 miles of an oil change. I'm either at 3,000 miles or under it. And like I said, I couldn't change, I couldn't get the filter, I couldn't get the filter loose. Last time I did it, but I just broke it loose. So once that oil completely drained, I put the plug back in there, I'm gonna, Come on this side, take the filter off, put the new filter on, and I'm be good to go. I ain't changing the I ain't changing oil on this thing until I get to about maybe once 162,000 miles on it, because I'm at 152 now. So when I get to about one, close to 160, I change it again, seven, eight thousand miles. Like I said, I'm not pulling nothing. I'm not pulling nothing. I'm not running a long time, so I'm not changing oil on it every 3,000 miles. So next time I change the oil, it's gonna be roughly 160,000 miles. Like I said, it's cool now. I'm not running, I'm not pulling nothing, I'm not running nowhere. Driving for a long period of time. Like I said, look at this oil on my hand. It's it's pretty clean. It's still pretty clean. It don't smell bad. Not that I'm, I got a magnet. I'm gonna uh, take a magnet and place it in the um, oil and everything to see if any shame is on it, but I don't think so. Like I said, it smelled good, it smelled clean. It's still pretty, it's not dark, so. Shit, I really didn't need to change the oil now. All right, get the old oil filter off. Same one, FL820S Motorcraft. New one over here, it is the same. FL820S. I already put the little oil on the filter thing on the ring. Um, plus it does. It does do that. You take the oil thing off, off the house and let the drip down. But make sure you clean that up so you can make sure you ain't got no leak in the future and everything. You use brake clean or just take an old, just take an old rag. I want you to know it stop leaking. Yeah. 
Yeah, I take a little bit of brake clean, clean that out to make sure I don't have no new leaks or whatever. Plug is back in. Wipe that off. Yeah, take a little brake clean, clean that too and everything. But once I get from there, I might not come back. Because it's like my fourth time being down on the ground. I forgot to get my filter out the back. So yeah, time to put this thing back on here. Put some oil on here. Fire it up.